A court in South Africa has blocked strike action by minibus taxi drivers in Cape Town. At least three people have been killed during increasingly violent protests. The walkout has disrupted transport and affected schools and health services. Famita Miller joins us live from Cape Town now. And uh, Famita, can you just tell us a little bit more about this court decision to block drivers from striking? Well, that court decision came after the city of Cape Town, along with a bus company, um, applied to the court to have the strike stopped, which the Premier of the Western Cape has said has been important in terms of trying to prevent any further arrests. It's likely to give the city uh, more powers to arrest people allegedly responsible for some of the violence we've seen in recent days, where roads have been blocked and vehicles have been prevented from passing by or traveling through the city. Uh, where there have also been reportedly some instances of looting, and that's also according uh, to the Premier's office. And the impact that the strike has had on the city is that because police resources have had to focus on the strike specifically, at least 1,500 police officers deployed to deal with that, there is now a, a lag in terms of services in other areas, and they say this is why uh, that looting occurred. Now, the city has also said that, as you mentioned, their education and um, healthcare services have also been impacted, and we see that in, in a place like this uh, bus depot that usually would be far busier, uh, but because of the strike and the intimidation and harassment, that's what the city calls it. They've also gone on to call it thuggery. Because of that violence, operations like this, which would normally be an alternative means of transport, have been limited. So essentially, at this point, the greatest impact really on uh, commuters in Cape Town. Where does this uh, leave things in regards to negotiations between the city and the bus company? Well, the city has so far said that it would not continue negotiations if the violence didn't stop. And we've seen a quieter day today so far compared to the last few days, where, as I mentioned, there'd been roads blockaded um, and also a bus depot set alight. And we know that three people um, have been killed in that violence. So the city has been adamant that it won't continue these negotiations if the violence didn't end. We have seen a uh, lull now, at least to some extent, re calm restored. And so a uh, Santa the taxi organization has said that it expects to continue talks with the city at some point today and may be making an announcement later in the day. And we could be looking at the resumption of those taxi operations, perhaps today or tomorrow, and that's if those talks go well. But the city has been very adamant in that, saying that taxi operators need to abide by the law. Taxi drivers have complained that their vehicles have been impounded, and it seems like a simple issue in that they should abide by the law, by traffic regulations, but it has really escalated into, uh, uh, in, into a disagreement where we've seen a significant amount of violence. Uh, and again, the city has said has been used to intimidate them. Sintaco, on the other hand, saying that its members not responsible, but also calling for calm. Okay, thank you so much. That is Famita Miller for us in Cape Town.